What's going on everybody? It's your boy C4. We're bringing you a quick Eagles vlog. Today, we're going to be talking about some roster cuts. Nine minutes ago, they announced the first wave of cuts with some pretty big names. And some names left off it, which leads me to believe our favorite on this channel, a fan favorite, Paul Turner, may be making the final roster. So quickly taking a look at the cuts. It was announced that Chris Gibbons was gone. Uh, they lost uh, John De Palma, who's a long snapper, which means they're going to be keeping John Dornbos. Randall Evans got cut. Uh, not really that surprising. Andrew Gardner got cut. He was a guy Chip Kelly actually extended, gave him another contract. So another Chip Kelly's guy is gone. I wouldn't be surprised to see him end up in Green Bay. Chris Gibbons got cut. They brought him in. He was familiar with Sam Bradford in uh, St. Louis, but he wasn't, like, to be honest, he was one of the weaker links. Mike Martin is gone. He was a depth at defensive tackle, but Bo Allen has proved his worth there. Uh, safety Nick Perry, I don't, I don't really know much about him. I think he was brought in off the Ravens practice squad, maybe. Uh, Denzel Rice is gone. He got some playing time last year. Ruben Randall got cut. Uh, that was somewhat surprising. Not really, because he hasn't done much in preseason. But it sounds like in camp, he was making, you know, really good highlight reel catches. But that's, you know, you can't keep a guy that looks good in practice. You need the guys that actually show up on game day. And that is people like Paul Turner. And now that we got Doriel Green Beckham there, it made definitely Ruben Randall somewhat expendable. Uh, Alex McAllister from the University of Florida and Joe Walker, two rookies, got placed on injured reserve. So I assume... Uh, you know, if they get healthy at some point, I don't know, because if they're on IR, they have to, uh, what, how that works for them to go on the practice squad, because those guys there are definitely two candidates for practice squad, but things are looking good for Paul Turner, I know a lot of people want him on the team, for those of you that don't know about his backstory, he was pretty much the third wide receiver at LSU behind Odell Beckham Jr. and Jarvis Landry, um, not exactly sure if he if he transferred or got kicked off or anything like that. But, I mean, the way he's been making plays, I could totally see it. And as much as we might want to hate a guy like Odell Beckham Jr., if we have a guy that's in the same, you know, wide receiver core that he was in, you know, maybe he picked up a couple things because, hell, fuck, I would use an Odell Beckham Jr. on my roster. But that is a quick video for me here today, guys. There's still some more stuff that might be scheduling to come out later. But uh, the roster's now at 73, so we're one step closer to having the final 53-man roster, and I'll probably check back with you with another vlog when that gets announced. So until next time, it's your boy C4. Same peace out.